So overall, it's a nice bright set, really good representation of a Christmas market. It's going to make an excellent addition to the Winter Village. It's actually encouraged me to get the rest of the sets out and build them early this year. Welcome back to Family Gamer TV. Yesterday I was lucky to be passing nearby an official Lego store, so I popped in to have a look around. Whilst in there I spotted that this year's Winter Village set has been released two weeks early to Lego VIP members. This is the VIP program that you can join on the Lego website or in store. So let's have a look at this year's Winter Village set. This is set number 10235. Um, it's now branded as a Lego Creator set um, and it's actually a Creator Expert set. Um, it has a carousel, a candy store, a grill, a bakery it looks like, and a bucket game. There are nine minifigs in this set, and they actually all shown on the end of the box. So we've got nine different minifigs to have a look at. There is horses on the carousel, and these seem to be painted very nicely on the head. I believe that's an exclusive horse design. On the back of the box, we've got more images of the actual um, market. So another picture of the bakery and the candy shop or the sweet shop. Um, the carousel and with the bucket game, it looks like one of the kids is throwing something into one of the buckets. There over at the grill, there's a cat trying to steal a bit of a turkey leg. We've also got a couple of lamp posts in this set, a few trees, um, a teddy bear. Right, I think we should have a look inside the box and see what bits we've got this time. So let's see. There we go, three bags with a one and five bags for twos. A um, couple of big plates, a couple of bases, and important piece. There we go, so that's the um, instruction manuals. Cardboard backs, so it's really good to see Lego is still doing that. Right, I'm going to get building. We'll see you in a bit for the review. This is Lego set 10235, the Creator Expert Winter Village Market. First released September or October 2013. States it's for 12, ages 12 plus. The set contains 1,261 pieces. It's actually the fifth in the Winter Village line. First Winter Village set came out in 2009. That was the Winter Village Toy Shop, followed up the following year by the Winter Village Bakery. In 2011, the Winter Village Post Office was released. And then last year, the Winter Village Cottage. This set is the second biggest in the series. The Winter Village Cottage from last year is the only one that's slightly bigger. The set includes nine minifigs with accessories, three females, two males and four children. Features a functioning carousel with operator's booth with a moving bucket challenge, a baker's stand, grill stand, candy stand, two street lamps, three trees, a bench and three tables. Accessories include cups, teddy bear, a cat, scarf, purse and lots of food elements. The carousel's horses feature a new ornamental headwear design. Well here's the finished set. As you can see it's going to make an excellent centrepiece to the Winter Village. Although we're going to have to find somewhere new to put ours. We normally put ours up on a shelf but with all the houses now and with this in the centre we're probably going to need a table. Let me take you through some of the pieces. Over here we've got the grill. Um, there's a man there serving, he looks like he's got a turkey leg and a hot dog. If I spin it around you can see his barbecue. We also have three tables. You can position depending on where you want them. I've positioned them here next to the grill so people eating can actually put their drinks down. We also have a park bench with a couple of children and a street lamp. Now this park bench, we've seen various iterations of this in the other sets. We also have the candy stand with a lady serving um, different sweets. I'll move over to this side and we've got the little bakery stand, a couple of croissants, some cupcakes, and it looks like a pie. I quite like the way that the lady is dressed in this one. It's like very reminds me of the Lego Kingdoms range of outfits. And then we'll move over to the big centerpiece. We have the actual carousel and we have the bucket game which is, looks like it's the control room as well for the carousel. So if I show you the bucket game first, we've got um, the minifig in there who is the operator of the ride. On the back of the operator's hut, 
we've got um, a little handle and we can turn that handle and the actual carousel itself goes around. It's really quite nice how they've actually used just a few cogs and a couple of axles to link this whole system together. Having looked around the back here as well, look at how to build the back of this out a bit further to be able to fit a motor in there if you wanted to motorise this set. So if we have a look at the actual carousel itself, we've got two horses and we've got two little vehicles. We've also got, um, I guess it's a mum with her handbag watching the kids on the ride and a couple of kids riding the girl on the horse and put the boy in the actual one of the spaceships. I really like the centre lighting, they've just used some clear pieces, orange and blue, and that is actually also carries on through right onto the top of the actual carousel where the canvas canopy just really highlights everything really well. I've now lined up all the minifigs so we can have a look at them in a bit more detail. We have got two men, three ladies and four children. So let's start over here with the grill man. You can see he's got plain green trousers, nice printed shirt, he's got a turkey, a turkey leg and a hot dog. The operator of the bucket game, checked shirt, a beard that looks like it's from Father Christmas, doesn't really look quite right to me. The lady who runs the candy store, she's got a nice scarf printed on her top, some white gloves. If we look on the back, we can see printing on the back as well. One of the other things as well with um, her is she's one of only two minifigs in this set with um, face on different face on the back so you can rotate the head and she can be angry. Maybe if some of the kids are messing around trying to get the candy from her stall. Next up we've got the mum. The piece I really like about the mum is the handbag. Seems to be quite a new piece, I've not seen that one before. Next up is the lady who runs the bakery stand. She's got a pretzel. The bit I really like about her is the printing of the top and it's the same on the back. It reminds me of one of the Lego Kingdom sets, the similar outfit to those. Now we've got the little girl who rides on the carousel. She's the second minifig who has a different face on the back, an upset one this time, maybe she's gone round too many times. Next up is the little boy who goes around on the carousel. Orange top, nice printing on both sides. Another little boy, he's got a hoodie on, printing on both sides of his top again. And a little girl, and she's got gloves on, and a nice winter coat, printing on both sides. So overall, it's a nice bright set, really good representation of a Christmas market. It's going to make an excellent addition to the Winter Village. It's actually encouraged me to get the rest of the Winter Village sets out and build them early this year. Remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you soon for some more LEGO set reviews. Thank <laughs> you.